Hi, this is Ellen from Rent Roll Starter. Today I wanted to chat to you about to-do lists. Now, as a property manager myself, I've always been passionate about having a to-do list. In fact, I've always had an A4 size notebook and each day I write down everything I have to do for the day because I really love the joy of crossing out everything that I've done. And sometimes I even used to write down the things that I had already done for the day just so that I had the pleasure of getting to cross them out. But today I want to ask whether or not we really need to have to-do lists. Now I'm not suggesting that we keep everything in our head uh, because that's unre unrealistic and no one can really do that. Um, it takes up too much brain power and it wastes precious time as well because you're always trying to remember what it is you need to do. But I'm going to suggest a few other options rather than your typical to-do list. Just as some options for you that you might like to consider. If you're running a rent roll, then you've probably got some really good property management software. And the cool thing about up-to-date property management software is there's usually a to-do list built into the software. In fact, most property management software has the ability to schedule reminders and actions and tasks all linked to the landlord, the property or the tenant. You can assign a date and a time so it will always flag with you and remind you that you have to do something. Now the cool thing about using your property management software is that you don't need to worry about writing it on your to-do list and you certainly don't need to worry about remembering to write it on a future date's to-do list because you can just schedule it into your property management software. Another tool you might like to consider is project management software. So if you're starting a big project, so perhaps if you're starting a rent roll from scratch and you need to set up everything that's involved in a brand new rent roll, you might want to look at project management software. The cool thing about project management software is that it allows you to set tasks in a timeline so that things are being done in the right date order and by the right person. Now, of course, if you're in a brand new business, you might be the only person involved in that process. Um, but if you've got an assistant or perhaps if you've got a team behind you already, you'll be able to assign certain tasks at certain dates within project management software. Now, another tool that you might like to use instead of your to-do list is your CRM software. So most real estate agencies will use some sort of CRM software to just track their communication with their clients. Now it might be with your prospective clients or it might be with your current clients. Either way, a good CRM package will allow you to keep in touch with those people and schedule events and reminders so that you don't have to remember to do these things. It also means that you don't have to remember to forward date items in your to-do list and it will just pop up and remind you on the, the date that you've decided that you need to make contact with those people. Now the other thing I want to put to you as an alternative is a little bit like a to-do list but I refer to it as an outcome list. It's an outcome list because rather than writing down a task, you write down the outcome you're looking for. So I'll give you an example. When I was a property manager running my own rent roll, I used to write things down like, ring Mr. Landlord to discuss rent increase. And that's what would go on my to-do list. However, when I switched to an outcome list, I changed the wording a little bit. I changed it to speak to Mr. Landlord and arrange rent increase on 23 Smith Street. I know that it's only a very small change and it's only a small change in the wording. It's not actually a change in the task you have to complete. However, what I discovered was when I went from writing ring Mr. Landlord about rent increase and I changed it to discuss rent increase with Mr. Landlord and issue rent increase to 23 Smith Street, I found that my focus for the conversation with the landlord was much more proactive. It meant that when I rang Mr. Landlord, I was very clear about the outcome I wanted to achieve in that phone call. So I was able to guide the phone call a little bit um, more strategically to make sure that the outcome of the discussion we had 
was that I got approval from the landlord to issue the rent increase. Rather than ringing the landlord, having a small conversation, perhaps suggesting that he goes away and thinks about it and then calls me back. I really wanted to encourage my brain to be focused on the outcome of getting approval for that rent increase so that I could act on it immediately. Now, I'm not suggesting that you scrap your to-do list altogether. In fact, if you're a to-do list sort of a person, you probably want to keep it going. However, you might want to switch your to-do list to an outcome list. And in actual fact, what you'll probably find is your to-do list becomes smaller as you focus on the outcome rather than the task. I'd be really keen to hear how you go with this. Um, so when you get a moment, maybe spend a day writing an outcome list rather than a to-do list. If you do it, I'd love for you to leave a comment in the comments section below and just let me know how you went with it. I know that for me, it was a really powerful thing to do. Now it's not for everyone and it's fine if you want to stick to your to-do list. But if you do give it a go, I'd love to hear from you and find out how you went with switching from the to-do list to the outcome list. And perhaps if you switch from your to-do list to working everything in your CRM package or your property management software, I'd love to hear from you about that as well. Now, if you've got any questions on this or anything else in relation to starting a rent roll, feel free to contact me at rentrollstarter.com.au. I'm Ellen, and I look forward to the next time we meet. Bye.